Well, hello again. I decided it would be interesting to find out how much power the Lawn Ranger uses. I used a simple plug-in meter that I found to be fairly accurate to measure wattage. With the mower sleeping, it's using 3 watts. That'll be to power the boundary wire. Wake it by pressing stop, and we're up to 6 watts. In other words, 3 watts to power the mower's brain. I imagined, incidentally, that this job would be simple. Power when mowing, charging and sleeping. It wasn't that straightforward, so I've ignored some odd but short-lived fluctuations. Let's try switching on eco mode. So the boundary wire is powered only when the mower is active. That, that reduces consumption to one watt or even zero. Now, let's mow. Off goes the lawn ranger. While it's mowing, the only power needed, of course, is for the boundary wire, so the reading is back to 3 watts. Two hours later, almost instantly, and we're back home again and charging. This is where it gets interesting. Consumption starts off at between 104 and 110 watts. It varies a bit, but then after 35 minutes, it's down to 51 watts and then zero after another 15. So that's 50 minutes to charge at, say, an average of 70 watts. What to make of that? Obviously, consumption will vary by model and how many hours you mow. My 430X runs twice a day for two hours. With Eco Mode on, that means about 140 watts a day. Here in the southeast, I'll be running the mower for about 34 weeks from mid-March till early November. Those 34 kilowatts will cost less than five pounds in electricity a lot less than I'd spend on petrol for my old mower. Leaving Eco Mode off, the default, would add 13 kilowatts at less than two pounds, but I hate waste and will leave it on. So electricity cost is trivial, especially alongside other running costs such as blades, servicing, and every few years a new battery. I hope that's vaguely helpful. It's been fun getting the numbers together. I imagine someone will find fault with my logic. I'm all ears.